shout out to my man, Jay O'Neal. You gave me more than I expected. But only a little bit more than I expected. But, as always, whenever I see some inaccuracies in someone's promo, I feel a need to address it. So I'm going to address it this way. Let me start with the elephant in the room, the CEO's child. Let me finally state publicly on the record, I did not call the police on Kedrick Jones. I have an idea who did, but that's between me and that person. We'll discuss that another time. But when I was told that Ked's child was being taken away and that I was being used as a name, I'm like, I know Ked's child. He'll be safe here. He can come here and stay with Uncle Brian. Because you don't really know Ked, do you, Jay? I know Ked. I've spoken to Ked today, and I assured him, as I will assure everybody, no harm will come to his child. He thinks it's just a weekend at Uncle Brian's, and that's all there is to it. Moving on. Jay O'Neill. I know what you're capable of. Do you know why I know what you're capable of? Because bosses got to know their employees. See, I'm a boss by nature. And I hang out with bosses by nature. Jason Terrell, good friend of mine, boss by nature. Ken, we got beef right now. But boss by nature. I still consider him a friend. <laughs> so, what I know about you is you're good at following instructions. And by that, I mean this. When I say, hey guys, there are invisible champions out there. You go, hey guys, there are invisible champions out there. We got to go find them. And you go and you take your chair and you sit in the ring. Just like I asked. When I say... Show the belt and show that you're proud to be a champion. You showed the belt and showed you were proud to be a champion. Just like I told you to. When I said, Jay, what are you going to do? Show me something. What did you do? You showed me something. You follow orders pretty good. You know who else follows orders good? Bitches. <laughs> but let me tell you something, man. Look, I know you don't like me. Lots of people don't like me. Lots of the old fuddy duddies, irrelevant non-movers in this division, in this federation, in this business. They didn't have the wherewithal to move themselves without direction. Don't like me. When I came in. And you sitting there, and you've been around, and you've been overlooked, and you see this big, fat, nasty, black, ugly, black gum, yellow teeth, fat, back on his titty, having ass nigga come in and make himself into a star? It's got to intimidate you. I understand that. The difference between me and Ken is I don't give a fuck who likes me back there. I know lots of y'all don't like me. Doesn't change how I feel about y'all. I like you, Jay. You don't have to like me. Because bitches don't have to like their bosses. And make no mistake, I'm a boss in this game. You're an overachieving Mick Carter. And at the next pay-per-view, you're talking about what do you care? You don't know what I'm capable of. Shouldn't you know by now what I'm capable of? Doesn't that tell you what I'm capable of? I resurrected an entire company. So what do you think I would do to you, Jay? You gonna rape Stephanie? Some guys gotta take it. I understand. I don't have that problem. You seen you you seen what I'm working with. But even after you devour Stephanie's butt flower, I'm still gonna be a boss. And you still gonna be what you hate. That guy under me. One, two, three. I'm glad you showed me something. And I thought about going at you a little harder. But I want this to be a message to everybody in the locker room. Hey, you don't have to be afraid of me. I like the fact that Jay's not afraid of me. It's not going to make me feel bad when I break him. And Jay, if you come and take this belt from me,
because I know you very well possibly could. It's a victory for me. Cause we're the ones that made you. It's Eminem. You know why? Because I'm a boss. I'll see you tomorrow. He got a bird on his hat. <laughs>